So good morning once again. So today we're going to discuss about analogies. And analogies are what we call word relationships. So we have here an illustration in your screen. We have two boys, two students who are tackling about a certain um, concept. So we have here the statement, pencil is to, is to write as Crayola is to blank. Now the answer of the student is color. Now let's see what is the connection of this to our lesson this, uh, this day. So when we say analogy, it is the, the comparison between two things and the comparison is used to determine the relationship between different set of things. Now, looking back at your module, we have there your first module. We have there the different types of analogy. No, so we are uh, we have just uh, break it down into fifteen. So we have here an example: bark is to dog as meow is to cat. Now, let us identify what is the relationship of the first pair of words to the second pair of words. So let's see first the first pair. Bark is to dog. What is the relationship of bark and dog? So knowing that the relationship talks about the sound of a certain um, pet or an animal, the second pair should also be the same as what is given in the first pair. So if we have there meow, is to cut. So meow is the, the sound being produced by the cat. So there is the what we call analogy. Now, balik tarin natin, what if a uh, cat comes first before the meow? Will there be an analogy? Answer is wala na. Because it doesn't follow already the format as what is given on the first pair. Because when we say analogy, there should be determining relationship. So if the relationship at the first is that is sound and the animal, the second pair should also be sound and the animal. So there are different types of analogy. So we have there 15 in your module. I will just break it down into five one into five types. So as uh, medyo mas mapadali at saka mas maintindihan. Nevertheless, you can still look at back your look at uh, back to your module. So as uh, your knowledge on analogy will still be broadened. So we'll start first with synonym and antonym. So as what I have discussed with you, synonyms are words that are the same in meaning or almost the same in meaning antonyms are opposite in meaning so here hot is to cold that is an example of antonym so when you have big large that is under synonym so this is a, what we call a single analogy muna okay we're talking about single analogy part two whole so whole so core is to apple Core is to apple. So, of course, an apple will not be complete without the center on it. Next, function to thing. Function to thing. Cook is to stove. Cook, cook is to stove. Where do we use the stove? To cook. Characteristic to thing. Slippery is to ice. So, what's the characteristic or how do we describe ice? It's slippery. Product to thing. Product to thing. So, we have here, uh, how can we produce milk? We produce milk from the cow. So how to solve an analogy? Number one, you need to decide upon the relationship between first two words. If medyo wala doon sa lima ang pinag-uusapan natin na analogy, you can check that one in your module. Or more than that, marami pa tayong hindi na isulat, hindi nalagay dyan, but can still be categorized into a different concept of analogy. So, decide upon the relationship. Second, state the relationship. So, car is the tire because. So, kindly counter check what is the relationship. Number three, examine the third word. So, if the third word is a classification, so make sure 
that the next one could be a function, it could be a location or something. Then select a fourth word that will make the third and fourth word have the same relationship as the first, second word. So be ready to explain your fourth selection. So example, car is to tire as chair is to blank. So what do you think is the answer? Just give a guess. Okay, maybe you have already in your mind. So if tire is a part of a car, so what part of a chair do you hold as the same as with the tire? So the answer would be legs. So then your answer is correct. Now let's have more examples. So let's see if you can guess this, the answer for this following activity. Number one, on is to off as start is to blank. Sorry for the typographical error. I just put letter A on it. So just uh, omit letter A. On is to off as start is to blank. Okay, the answer is stop. So we that, that belongs to opposites. They are what we call antonyms. Nail is to finger as nail is to finger as hair is to blank. The answer is, any guess? Head. Okay, part two, hold. Next, eyes to see as ear is to blank. The answer is, here. We call it thing to plankton. Next, swift is to deer as low is to blank. Guess? Okay, the answer is turtle. We talk about characteristic to thing. Wool is to sheep as egg is to blank. The answer is chicken, product to thing. So if you have, you've got five out of five, well, you are already ready to be assessed and take the assessment for this topic analogy. Now, from our first um, uh, presentation uh, a while ago, now do you think the answer of the student is correct? Okay, it's correct. So thank you so much for listening on our today's um, lesson. And for you to learn more things about analogies, uh, you can read it from the different sites uh, posted in our presentation. So thank you so much for your time. Keep safe and God bless.